Butch and Bob Show. World famous Butch and Bob Show here on WIFO 105.5 FM and Jess up Big Dog Country Radio. Bob, how you doing? Doing well. Doing well, huh? Just shaking my head on that 12 team playoff right now. Why is Penn State number four? Can you tell me why Penn State's four? They're four? Who's Penn State beat? I don't know, Bob. They I know they lost to Ohio State. That's their only loss, though. But they don't play nobody. The Big Ten. It's a, the Big Ten's got most of the teams in the top ten, Bob. They don't play nobody. <laughs> they There's play nobody each other. You got Oregon. They play you got Penn State. You got Ohio Western. State. You got Illinois. You got all of them up there. Penn State. Illinois, I mean, you got a ton Illinois of them up there in the top Illinois ten. Illinois ain't any good. Northwestern's not any good. Let Georgia play Penn State, and it'll be a blowout. <laughs> Penn State. Not the way they play. We are Penn week. State. And I know all about Happy Valley and Penn State, but they're not the fourth or the best team in the country. That well, we still, they, everybody's got three more games, so it'll yeah, all work out. And say, we that's got, the we just got to beat Tennessee. Got to beat Tennessee. We got to play better. We got to play some enthusiasm, fire, and we got to coach better, too. Yeah. We've gotten out coached in their losses. Yeah. They'll show up. Odds makers know something I don't know. Well, I don't know where we're. I don't know where we're favored by ten. I have no idea. It's, it's like it's like be when, a blowout. I feel pretty good. Yeah, like, it's like when we lost to Alabama in the SEC game, but we came back and beat them in the national championship game. And you're wondering how is Georgia favored in the national championship game in Alabama when we lost to them in the SEC? I know we but lost. we won. I know we lost. But how do you get from three to totally out? I mean, we're three last Tuesday. Now we're totally out. Thirteen. Does that make any sense? I don't know, Bob. That I don't. No I don't sense. vote. I, I don't vote. I mean, Miami lost to Georgia Tech. Why ain't they out? And, nah, I guess because they got just one loss. Yeah. There's no scientific it's, thing it's to all, it. It's just all how we it's feel. It's all garbage. That's what it is. Oh, you're saying the garbage. If we was like eight or nine, you'd be saying, "Hey, that's fine. That's where we need to be." Mm-hmm. You know, just. <laughs> Those, I don't know who these committee people. They don't even. They don't even know anything about football. I'm sure they don't, Bob. They don't. They just pick people they off never, the street and throw them together. That's it. Just pick them off the street and say, y'all going to pick who's going to be in the game. They are a bunch of, bunch of guys that write newspaper articles and yeah, yeah. talk on the radio. They yeah. don't know anything about football. No, Bob, it sounds like some letters and phone calls are coming your way to somebody. I just don't know who to send them to. I just, I gotta, <laughs> I just gotta, gotta go up there Saturday and win a game. That's what I'm going for. That's right. Gotta go up there. You going up? Yep. This is going to be there late Saturday night big, watching Georgia yeah, play? The biggest game of the year. Gotta be there. Got to be there, huh? Can't miss it. I'm glad that's in, in Athens. Yeah, it would be a nice time. It's a good time to drive to Athens. It's a pretty time of year. Most people have their Christmas lights decorated already, so it'll be, it's fun coming home at night. So Okay, so you will be watch, coming home? Just got to watch it. Right? Late at night? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a Down Highway trip. 15 that late at night? Yeah, it's a day, oh, it's man. A, it's a day trip. I ain't spending all that money. But you know how much they charge for a motel these oh, days in well. Athens? <laughs> <laughs> I work in radio. <laughs> A lot of money. I'm a poor person. This is a day trip. Up and a, back. Day, a day and night trips. No. You'll go into the next day. You know, you'll go oh, one day and come back the next day. You'll be back. You'll be. Well, it'll be after midnight by the time right. that you get back home. I'll still be in my bed when I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't paying all that money for a motel. That's crazy. And even if you could find one, it still would be yeah, out the insane. roof. You know, it's crazy. All right, but well, we've got guests in here this morning, Bob. Who do we have? Yeah, Kylie and Kaylee. How y'all doing today? Good morning. We're doing great. All those notes in front of you. you We do. We have a lot of we have a lot going on. So we want to make sure that there's we myself and Kaylee with hospice with hospice of South Georgia. Okay. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to say good morning to Radio Land and we hope that you're all doing well and get ready for the holidays. Like Bob and I were just talking about where did this year go? (laughs) I know it flew by. I know. Uh, Well, we have several different hats that we're going to wear today. And uh, today we want to first talk about an, a little fundraiser that we're doing, our, our donations. It's called uh, Picking Up the Pieces Donation Drive. And a few of us, you know, got together and we wanted to do something for those that were affected by um, Hurricane Helene in North Carolina. And a group of us ladies, you know, we got together and we decided on picking up, picking up the pieces. And uh, I used to live in Asheville. So this dev- devastation of Helene um, has really tugged on my heartstrings, and we're currently taking donations, and we're going to actually drive them up there to North Carolina on December 14th, and uh, we're collecting donations in the top priority needs that we need, um, shampoo, soap, adult and children's diapers, 
baby wipes, cleaning supplies such as baby or cleaning supplies such as laundry detergent, mops, brooms, trash bags, and camping supplies such as uh, sleeping pads, air mattresses, camp stoves, hatchets, saws, um, solar charges, chargers, and uh, queen and king size blankets. Heaters are also a huge need as the temperature drops in the mountain at nighttime. And uh, we, you know, we want to make sure that everybody stays warm. And we know that recently a group of Amish have created Cabins of Christ. So they have gone into certain areas of North Carolina and they are building small cabins for, you know, for those that don't have any home. Because some of them, you know, their home is completely gone, everything. You know, so I saw a story where... The lady lived in her house for about 75 years with her husband. Her husband was passed away, and the house just disappeared. And the only thing she found was um, the Bible that he gave her and with her mom's obituary. And she just was distraught. She didn't really know what to do. So the Amish are, you know, um, coming in and building the cabins. But, you know, they depend on the generosity of donations to be able to, you know, have supplies for these cabins. And um, as of right now, North Carolina is not, they're not taking donations of clothing. It seems that that was the biggest donation and they just don't have the volunteers or the manpower to sort through all the clothes. They are taking winter coats, you know, working gloves, work boots, anything like that. But um, if you do donate clothes to us, we will make sure that they go somewhere locally to those in need so you know if you if you want to donate clothes we'll make sure that they go somewhere and how do they make these donations of the things you just talked about yes um you can give me a call it's 912-432-9339 um and kaylee's gonna later explain and give you all the heads up of where the you can drop off donations um you know i'd like to thank a group of ladies who have come together and helped do this you know wonderful Donation drive, of course, Kaylee Mosley, Miss <laughs> um, Shayla McKinney, Miss Kara Lopez, Miss Faith Teston, Miss Angie Sturgill, and Miss Morgan Sal. We've all got together. It's a strong group of ladies who are heavily involved with the community. And, uh, you know, I wanted to give them a huge thank you. And if you want to reach out to us for a donation, we'd love to, we'd love to, to take anything that we can. Um, like I said, we are going to probably take donations until the 10th. If you want to donate, you know, on the 13th you can, but that gives us a few days that we want to go through and sort and tag and name everything. So when we drive them up there, they're all ready to go. And we are working with one of my good friends in Asheville. He, you know, lives there and he is creating a list of families in surrounding counties, those who really need supplies so, and he's going to give me the list of everything so we can kind of organize it by family. So, the donations are actually going to be driven up to these families. Um, and I also want to give a shout out and thank you to DJ Jones. He is working with us um, for Donation Sorge. So, yeah, you know, we want to, I know it's about the holidays. I know one of the things that really tugged on my heartstrings is to watch a video of someone there and they're standing with nothing and it says the media has left, the volunteers are all gone, and this is just our new normal. You know. So a lot of the volunteers have already gone. They I mean, have. Like you, you said, know, you live in Nashville, you've got connections there, so you know yes. what's going there on the ground. And it's sad because a lot of those, you know, have moved on, or they just couldn't donate in much time. You know, they have to go back to their lives. Right. And this is their life. You know, there's people still out there. There's, there's, um, you know, when you go out to a restaurant. You know, you're having to get bottled water or, you know, there's music venues up there that don't even have running water. So they have porta potties, you know, and restaurants have porta potties. So, you know, we want to make sure that they're taken care of. Um, so, yeah. Um, and we're also taking you know, things like water and anything that you want to donate, you know, when you're out Christmas shopping or holiday shopping before the D December 14th, you know, maybe pick up an extra bag of trash bags or something like that to donate. Um, it's great the Amish are going in there and building these small cabins for folks yes. because you take a and look at the really videos nice. and pictures and they're just there's nothing there in some areas. I mean yeah. everything just washed down the rivers. Exactly. And, and some uh, of these little mountain great. towns, 
it's really difficult to get to those mountain towns even before Helene. I can't even imagine, you know, some of the roads are washed off and they're having to tell people, literally when you see a road is closed sign, do not go because now people are going around, the roads are closed and their their trucks are, you know, go getting off the road. Get off the I, road, get stuck, to, get down yeah. the hill. In the mountains out there, you could, you know, go right down the hill. Yeah, and I know like the media's moved on, so you don't really get to see much, but... Um, you know, if you go on Facebook and follow some of these groups, I'm in several groups um, that are people posting their needs. This is the restaurant. They're giving out free food. It's just kind of like a community thing. Anybody can join some of these groups, or you can follow it on TikTok and kind of see, you know, those that are still affected. Okay. So, yeah. And we can schedule. With Kaylee. Hey, good, good morning. morning. Yeah. I was getting in there. All right. <laughs> just wanted to introduce start. you. You know, it is radio. People don't get to see your smiling face. So, good morning, Kaylee. Good Kylie morning. Kylie just got through talking. Now, Kaylee. Oh, yeah. It's All my right. turn. Yay. Um, so, we can schedule a donation pickup, or you can drop off donations at Hospice of South Georgia. We are located on Sunset Boulevard or at the Chamber of Commerce, Interstate Credit Union, City Hall, and the U-Haul office located at 1520 Orange Street. They are open from Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5. We also want to talk a little bit about the Hope Chest thrift store located on Cherry Street. Right and once again, before you go into the Hope Chest thing, if you know you went the whole bunch of items yes. there that's needed, is there a list somewhere that people can look at and say, yeah, I'd like to give this? Sure. Um, you can go on Facebook and type in Picking Up the Pieces. Um, is that a, with an G or just I N? With an I N. <laughs> I N. This mountains and, picking up the yeah. pieces. Picking up the pieces. And right? uh, you know, if you would like to have a flyer hung at your business, you can. Um, if you go on my Facebook page, it's Kylie McGregor. It's um, public, and I've shared it in you know the Wayne County Concerned Citizens and the Wayne County Community Group and all the Wayne County Jessup groups, um, and. You know, the needs may change as my friend sends me a list because there might be someone that, oh, we might need a toddler size winter coat. Um, so I'll just keep adding those and uh, I'll come back on the radio. And like I said, if your church organization, your business, if this is something that you really want to help us spread the word, you know, I'm more than welcome to bring you a flyer to hang up. Okay, now if you don't leave this with this, yes. I'll get Leanne to post it to our Facebook page. Perfect. Okay? Oh, that's great. Right. Yeah. And you can now you can check uh, Big Dog Country. That's Big Dog Country Facebook page, and we'll have it on there sometime today. Perfect. Okay. That's awesome. Kylie, I, was, I didn't mean to interrupt you as you oh, moved no. on to another subject there, but I want people to know where can I go in hell? Where can I, what can I give, and yeah. where can I take it to? And okay. any of those businesses that Kaylee just, um, you know, spouted off, you can, you know, they're all... All hands on deck, and we're still confirming the press sentinel. But any of those locations, if you want to drop off, um, or if you want to give us a call for a donation pickup, you know, I don't mind coming um, on my spare time, lunch break, after work, on the weekends to come pick up any donations that you might have. And again, that is you can drop off at Hospice of South Georgia, the Chamber of Commerce, Interstate Credit Union, City Hall, and the U Haul office located at 1520 Orange Street. Yeah. All right. So and so the Hope places. Chest was the next thing that you were yes. going to talk about. We moved on to a different subject with <laughs> Hospice of South Georgia. So the Hope Chest thrift store is located on Cherry Street right beside the Strand Cinema. This is our thrift store that has been open for almost two years in December. Like we're coming up on two years, Amazing. which is crazy. It is crazy. Wow, wow. So we are seeking donations of kitchen wares, holiday decor, furniture, home decor, art, books, jewelry, purses, and more. Also, when you're out shopping, consider stopping by. Our store manager, Michelle, would love to see you. Every dollar donated and spent at the Hope Chest Thrift Store goes directly back into Hospice of South Georgia. And this helps us help our families and patients receive the free hospice care that we provide. And we will never turn away a medically eligible patient who requires care regardless of their ability to pay. So the Hope Chest Thrift Store is located at 177 West Cherry Street in downtown Jessup. We are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you have any items that you would wish to be donated and you would like to schedule a donation, pick up or drop off, you can give Michelle a call at 912-385-2046. Yes. 
And I just love going into the thrift store. You know, I can spend so much time in there looking. Because there's always something that they add that's new. And, you know, if you walk by now, you see all the Christmases up. I know. I can't go in without spending money. <laughs> yes. Oh, the candles. Yeah. The candles. You know, we just go in and we're like, oh, here we go. Oh, well, we're, you know, we work for hospice and we're helping hospice. So we go in and spend our own money in there. So, you know, it's between the Berry Patch and um the strand so when you're out you know going and shopping and stuff you know just stop in there and say hey it's amazing what people will donate to these different places yeah hope chest fair haven other places and stuff like that you'll find great items some never been used before i know uh, and the yeah. original packaging you still even see some prices on them somewhere and other ones have hardly ever been used I know. so it's uh, it, you can save a lot of money by going to uh, places like this plus you're helping out a great cause yeah and it is weird when you go in there and you're like oh it's brand new like i wonder how long this person had it was like mm, you know but uh yeah I love, I love going in there, especially around Christmas time. I know. Yeah. All the Christmas treats. But, um, yeah, I think I lost. I got Christmas you got, on the brain. All right. <laughs> What's the next subject after hope, Chester? Well, I am going to uh, take off our picking up the pieces hat and our hospice hat and put on my rotary hat. Rotary. Yes. Club of so, Jessup. Rotary clubs. Yeah. Okay. Rotary Club of Jessup. We are having our annual poinsettia sale. Uh, so if you want some gorgeous poinsettias for Christmas to brighten up your home, your office, your church, anywhere, uh, they are $20 a piece. And the last day to, to purchase these um, is next Friday. So it is, what's next Friday, November 22nd? Yes. And they're six and a half inches red with gold foil. And like I said, they're $20 each. And we not only take check or cash this year we've added venmo yeah we're getting up in there the fancy way to pay (laughs) um so yeah just let me know if you would like to purchase those and we'll get you a form to fill out and uh they will be ready for pickup or delivery on december 6th and just remember that all proceeds from this fundraiser and the poinsettia sales go towards local scholarships and rotary community events you know, people. Some people call it poinsettias. Some people call it poinsettias. What's the? Wait, what is the correct? Is it? Can you do both? I think you can do both, just like people say pecan and pecan. Yeah, it's yeah. just wherever poinsettia you're, or poinsettias. You're yeah, yeah. yeah I, poinsettia. I don't. Yeah, I don't think there is a right way because you hear different people say different ways. Like you said, it's you know, can you say pecan or pecan? And yeah, just how, pecan. It's ca- <laughs> it's how pecan. uppity you are. Yeah. If you're I mean, uppity, you say pecans. Yeah. If you're a southerners, you say it's pecans. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's weird because I'll hear people say I want to get some pecans, but then they'll say pecan pie, and it's like it's the same word. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, well, you know, they're twenty dollars. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, so you know, they're perfect to give a little bit of holiday spirit you know around your tree and brighten up your office i know a lot of churches get them so it's really pretty when you walk in the church and you're like huh i know the day we deliver them there's so many in the building and it's so pretty like it it just it's christmas Christmas. (laughs) red everywhere it's It's just christmas Christmas. (laughs) yeah i mean you know unfortunately i would love to have one in my house but with my cats, you know, you can't have them, so... You can't have them with cats, huh? Yeah, so I get my mom to buy a few, and then I go enjoy them at her house. Oh, okay. She doesn't have cats. But yeah, that's uh, that was our rotary hat. I know you got to put back on your... We're going to put back on my hospice hat. <laughs> so we are looking for some snacks to be donated to our IPU. We are in need of chips, crackers, and sodas, but anything that you would like to donate, we greatly appreciate. You can drop off at our inpatient unit at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, or you can call to schedule a donation pickup at 912 912- Five eight eight zero zero eight zero, and all donations are one hundred percent tax deductible. So y'all need yes. these uh, food items mm-hmm. for the inpatient care system there. It's for, for the families. For the families that yeah. come in, mm-hmm. and um, you just have these items donated. What are some of the most in need items, popular items that y'all have found out is needed after y'all have had this open for a while Coffee now? Coffee goes pretty fast. Yes. Coffee, Coffee and sodas. Um, chips because they're easy to just you know pop open and then because some of our families you know come in from out of town or this is where they are and they don't want to leave their loved one right you know so you know little snacks to kind of because i don't know about you all but when i worry and i you know and i'm i I snack (laughs) little debbies 
Yeah, yeah. so we, yeah. you know, we, and, you know, we have a lot of, um, you know, Sugar and Spice has brought in some donuts, and we've had cupcakes brought to the, not only the family, but the patients. Um, so it's always nice to keep that refrigerator and the kitchen stocked full of snacks okay yes. yeah. so you can just go by and donate those to the hospice of south georgia yeah. across yes. from bill morris park on sunset boulevard mm-hmm. here in we'll jesse on facebook but if you want to be anonymous we will also not post you <laughs> <laughs> and also any donation that you make to the hope chest as well is tax deductible I wanted to and i know i feel like we get on here all the time and we're just like asking for stuff that's pretty much what i feel like people see me and they're like well what does she want today (laughs) you know that's just who we are you know we've got a lot of hands in the fire we just love you know to get involved in the community we love to give back this is giving season season and we just you know we love wayne county wayne county is one of the most generous counties that i've ever lived in i've lived in jacksonville Asheville, atlanta um and i will say wayne county is extremely um, generous, and we're very fortunate to live in such an amazing county. And somebody wants to know, can they uh, give uh, K cups? I guess that's uh, yes. cupcakes. Right. Yeah. Is that what that is? Okay. I think that's a coffee cup. Right. Coffee, oh, Keurig, coffee cups. Keurig cups. No, it Don't just says K dash cups. Is that yeah. Keurig? Mm-hmm. I think that's I the think coffee. So. Keurig. Okay, Don't that makes have? sense yeah. then. Yeah, we so do have you that. You do have that yeah, there. We'll Keurig, have you have there. Okay. Yeah, coffee, juice, um, you know, snacks, popcorn, like non perishables, you know, and if you ever feel like. If you ever feel like baking something to take up to the IPU, they absolutely love that. Okay. Yeah. And not only, you know, for our families and our patients, you know, we, we love to uh, surprise our staff back there as well because we are open 24 7. We have a phenomenal staff. And, uh, yeah, anything that you want to donate to picking up the pieces or to the Hope Chest or, (laughs) you know. um, Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Kylie, Kaylee? I think I'm all out of hands today. But I think we, we, yeah. Oh, wow. We talked your old joke. Well, that's what it's for. Well, now, y'all you, know, not, you two guys uh, don't we, have time to we, gossip. We have days that it's only you and him and I talking, so <laughs> yeah. you know, we like you know, the guests to fill the time up if possible. Well, we can fill up some time. Yeah, I'm we like it. to talk. <laughs> we, do. we do like to talk, especially with all the stuff that we have, especially around this time of year. You know, it's the holidays, and there's a lot going on, right? So I think that's it we got. Yeah, we're, so. tomorrow will be two weeks away from Thanksgiving. That's don't crazy. Tell. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanksgiving's a little late this year. It's not until the 28th of, uh, of uh, is that right? 28th? Yes, because. I think they say it's like it's several days shorter between Thanksgiving and, and Christmas this year. I know, it's and the then 28th. right after that's going to be the the Christmas parade, which I'm excited about. Friday, yeah. December 6th. I'm so glad it's on a Friday, right, B-Bob? What's going to be on the 6th? The parade. the parade. It's on Friday? Mm-hmm. Yep, it's uh-huh. on Friday. Okay. December so. 6th. Yeah. Okay. Got away it's from on that. a Friday. Got away from that SEC championship game. Smart move. Yeah. And it's <laughs> dreaming of a downtown <laughs> Christmas. So we are excited. We're, we can't wait. And I cannot wait for y'all to see the costume that I ordered. It's going to be a good one. For what? For the parade. You're going to wear a costume it's in the fabulous. parade. It's, it's an fabulous. inflatable now, costume, and it is screams Christmas spirit. One of my grandsons had an inflatable costume for Halloween, and it was amazing. Yeah. I told him, I saw, I told Max, and you finally got a bigger belly than your granddaddy. <laughs> Wait, what one, was one, his costume? Way out like that. Which was his? I, some character. I, can't, I, I, don't, I, I don't know the character, but yeah. it was... It was yeah, you know, he went around uh, uh, the country club oh, area yeah. with it. But we you'd have known it because they had two long trailers of kids. Yeah, Matt and Mandy and several other uh, of um, couples had a bunch of kids on two long trailers being pulled behind uh, golf carts. I watched those kids in those inflatables on Halloween, and I'm like, you know, it's, I don't know it's how to get funny, around. it's a great, but I've been in one, and it's hot and it's rough. <laughs> so that takes dedication to go house to house, yeah, and get candy. that is dedicating. But you're going to have an inflatable on your Christmas costume, is that correct? I am going to be a Christmas inflatable. Okay. For the all right. <laughs> You'll have to just come December sixth and see what it is. See right? what it is. Yep. 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 And what time is the parade? What time? Oh. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. o'clock. Yeah, Seven so o'clock. It's going to be on, dark. On Friday you, the 6th. Yes, and it's going to be already dark by then. You know, all those lights on those floats. It's going to be you pretty. Know, you know how pretty Always it's going to be? Always a great looking parade. I know. It's such a pretty parade. 
I'm so excited. And I can't wait. The Shriners always. I know. Oh, I they, they, they help him. make it, don't they? Hmm? Oh, I like to dance. We've danced the whole time when we had them. We were waiting uh, last year. Yeah. yeah, we were just like dancing to their music because they play music the whole time, even when you're lining up. They're a hoot. They're a hoot. Yep. Yeah. Well, All thank right. you for coming. Kylie, Kaylee. Yeah. Enjoyed having y'all in once again. Bob, anything else for the show this morning? No. Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. All right. Y'all take care. All right. The world famous Butch and Bob show here on WIFO 105.5 FM in Jessup has been brought to you by the service department at GNS Auto Sales here in Jessup. Also brought to you by First Southern Bank, Murphy Builder Supply, and by O.C. Welch Ford.